Yemen is about to get a boost, right? The Houthis? Hooth, hooth, houthi, goodbye. Hooth, hooth, houthi, don't cry. You know that old song that the kids used to sing? No? I just made that up? Probably did. All right. Well, Yemeni forces, Iraqi uh, resistance hit a vital Israeli target in Haffa, Yemeni army spokesman. So this is from Press TV. The other was from Press TV as well. Um, from today, the Yemeni armed forces say that uh, they have carried out an anti-Israeli military operation along with the Iraqi resistance forces in support of the Palestinians in Gaza. Uh, Brigadier General uh, Yahya Sari, the spokesman uh, for Yemen's armed forces, said in a statement on Tuesday that the armed forces used wing missiles to target a vital target in the port city of Haffa uh, in occupied Palestine. Uh, Sari said Yemeni forces and their comrades in the Islamic resistance in Iraq, an umbrella group of anti-terror fighters, carried out the operation successfully uh, and achieved its objectives. So, um, I don't think this is going to be as easy as the United States and Israel thought, uh, as far as, uh, the, uh, creativity of the surrounding areas that are not down with what's going on, right? These are out of the box thinkers, uh, your your uh your typical israeli forces are just used to you know going into civilian areas with guns and you know the rest uh hey laura what's up ah bella's here too good to see you what's up everybody global solidarity good to see you too uh let me see if we uh anybody else antoine dixon uh I think we got everybody. Good to see everybody. Good morning. Hope you're having a great morning. Give me a little time to have a little sippy poo. Uh, so they, they, um, these are hardened people that the United States and Israel is dealing with. <clears throat> All right. Uh, this, this, this ain't like, you know, Iraq back in 90, 91 where, uh, you know, anyway, uh, but, uh, they're about to, uh, they're about to get a little bit more powerful. Um, so this is from, uh, Bricks, uh, Bricks News on the tweeters. They have, uh, let's see here. Just in Russia to arm Yem uh, Yemen's Houthis with anti-ship ballistic cruise missiles. I mean, these cats were doing it with, uh, I think it tells us in here. So uh, Russia plans to arm uh, Yemen's Houthis with anti-ship ballistic cruise missiles. Recent reports suggest that Russia is considering providing the Houthi rebels in Yemen with advanced anti-ship ballistic cruise missiles, potentially exacerbating the strategic dilemma facing Western powers as they seek to protect commercial shipping in the Red Sea and beyond. The Houthis and Iran aligned movement have been increasingly active in the region, launching attacks on commercial shipping and Western military vessels since Hamas's uh, October 7th uh, attack on Israel and the subsequent war in Gaza. Moscow's growing alignment with Iran and its search for new alliances among anti-Western powers has led to closer cooperation with the Houthis. How do you think that happened, right? You got somebody else, you got one person who wants to beat the shit out of you, and one person wants to give you 50 bucks. Who the fuck are you going to hang out with? You're going to hang out with the dude who wants to beat the shit out of you because daddy likes me. No, I'm just kidding. Of course, you go with the dude who gives you 50 bucks. He may beat the shit out of you later, but at least you're 50 bucks richer. But all right, that's that's something else. Um, This development has raised concerns about uh, the potential for Russia to supply the rebels with advanced weapons, further complicating the security situation in the region. I mean, they're already doing a good job. And now Russia says, hmm, it is time to up your game, comrade. Here you go. All right. We'll see you at the party. Hey, we bring vodka. Uh, 
The Houthis have already demonstrated their military capabilities, reportedly possessing Russian-made P-800 Onyx supersonic high uh, anti-ship cruise missiles acquired through Syria and the Lebanese Hezbollah militia. There's also unconfirmed reports that the group has begun producing its own hypersonic missile. Oh, shit, Houthis. <laughs> Y'all done fucked up, man. Uh I like this over here. VP Harris, Matt Damon, and Vladimir Putin walk into a bar. Uh, the uh, the potential uh, provision of anti-ship ballistic cruise missiles to the Houthis by Russia would significantly enhance their offensive capabilities, posing a direct threat to commercial shipping in the Red Sea and beyond. Um, yeah, so... That's the thing, you know, Russia, Russia knows what's up, right? And, and Russia's doing it. And you're gonna be like, man, this is a horrible co uh, comparison, but just, 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 just hear me out. Right. So Russia's doing what, what Trump did in the debate last week, he's just hanging back and he's letting the West make total asses out of themselves. Meanwhile, Everybody that's doing good work on their side, he's like, here's a little something for you. Hey, you doing? He's like, hey, you're doing good work down there, you Houthis. Let me uh, let's bump it up a little bit. Let's sweeten the pot. You know, let's get a little, uh, mm, put a little sweetener in there, man. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do some good, uh, some more good things there. All right, chief. 